Hey everybody and welcome to another video. I am Mike B and today I'm going to be opening up an original 300 round battle pack of World War II German SMK or Spitzgeschoss mit Kern, which means Spitzer bullet with core because it's a steel core armor piercing bullet that was designed to be fired out of the K98 or other rifles. Um, this is going to be a really cool experience. I've actually never opened an original battle pack. But seeing as how, A, I want to try to see how this stuff works. I know some of it's sketchy and you shouldn't fire. I'm going to pull some bullets apart. Maybe I'll make another video on that. Um, but for this one, we're just going to be focusing on the unboxing. So this is a round that was designed. It's a 178 grain bullet steel core to go through mild armor. And um, obviously, you'd be used on soft targets as well. But yeah, this could go through vehicles, half tracks and stuff like that. Whereas a lot of the regular full metal jacket ammunition would not penetrate completely. So this was made... Uh, specifically for armor piercing and it's actually pretty cool stuff and um, anyway so I've never opened up a battle pack so what I what I know so far is that um, it says 300 rounds um, SMK so it's the blue stripe kind of says what it is so you quickly reference it all that stuff and then the lot number and everything and the manufacturer and then some other information that I'm not familiar with on the second line and then it says the uh, casing is steel lacquered so yeah it's gonna be lacquered steel stuff and um again the lot number is from 1943 and yeah so i don't really know much about this stuff i'm kind of new to the world so if i'm doing something wrong whatever this is how i'm just going to open this up there should be 20 boxes of 15 rounds each in here and let's get to it so what i'm going to do for this oh, it weighs about oh, just under 20 pounds i would say probably like 16 17 pounds maybe i suppose i could have weighed it before we did this but it's not lightweight but um, so this is how German ammunition would have come packaged for the Mauser rifle and machine guns in the field. Uh, they would come in a crate of, I think, five of these boxes. And, um, you know, five of them stacked. And then these were called battle packs or whatever the heck they actually call them. We call them battle packs. And then you just grab one of these and you can run with it. You can load clips with it. You can load machine gun belts with it and all that stuff. So it was a pretty unique idea. Whereas, you know, the Americans had ammo cans filled with bandoliers and stuff. So it's a different way of loading. All right. <clears throat> so this says uh, the carrying loop or the carrying thing, which is this, is in the back. So what that means is I'm going to really quickly give you a, kind of another 360 before we open this up. You can see that it's got this, these weird cardboard things on the front and back. Now, they also have the uh, strap contained in there like that. So it's when they when you pull up on these, it closes these nice and tight. And then when they're down, it doesn't do that. So I don't know any other way to open this up except to actually tearing this piece of cardboard off in the back so we can get to the buckle, undo the strap, and then actually get to the ammunition. So that is, in fact, what I am going to do. So I'm just going to lift up on this guy. Yep, and then HLB is the factory. I forgot exactly what factory that was. I forgot to mention that, but that was one of the manufacturers of ammunition. So this pops open. You can see this double buckle right there. The Swiss actually do something very similar to this, even on their GP11 ammunition. These little things are very sharp, so I'm going to try not to get poked by them. Uh, anyway, so now this comes off, and we've got our four boxes. There's going to be five rows of four boxes, so we're going to tip this down one more time all right so this is what the uh, individual boxes look like and see that it says the same thing on here that it does on here so that if you put one of these in your pocket or whatever you can figure out what it is if you're just in a hurry or whatever so we'll open up this guy oh this stuff's actually not in too bad a shape there's the goods Yeah, this stuff actually looks really nice. I will definitely uh, make another video and I'll pull some of these bullets so we can get a closer look at what's inside of these bad boys. But yeah, here, I'll show you really quick the um, the head stamp. I'll try to get that. Hopefully it focuses. I can't really see the camera right now. So yeah, you can see it's HLB um, 43 and then just, just basically a lot of the same information that's on here. So yeah, let's pour a couple more of these out. Yeah, those are... Those are in really good shape. Um, hopefully, I'm not hearing much powder shake around in here. Apparently, uh, what happened was these they didn't coat the inside, or maybe they did, but the powder reacted with the um, uh, lacquer on the inside and started rusting on the inside, and so that rust combines with the powder. Again, I'll make a couple more videos or you know on this particular topic. We'll see if it's okay to shoot, and then I'll probably end up going out to the range of it anyway because it's pretty hard to blow up a Mauser 98 action. 
Again, I wouldn't advise shooting this stuff. I would only, if I were to ever sell this, I would only sell it as collector's ammo specifically. But hey, I have to try. It's uh, my passion and um, we'll see. It, it is really good collector's ammo and this stuff happens to be in really good, great shape. So anyway, that's all I've got for this video. Um, yeah, look at these. They're in the same condition. They're just very nice. So for being from 1943, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So anyway, that's all I've got for this video, and uh, I think I might sell some of this, but I'm also going to keep a lot of this, because this is really, really hard to get this stuff nowadays, especially in this good a condition. So I might put this in my collection. I'll keep at least one battle pack. i got several of these. Um, the recent batch came in from various suppliers, and I happened to get a few of them. So I'm pretty fortunate to be able to do that because once this stuff dries up, it, it really doesn't come around that often. So anyway, I'll stop ranting about that. This is just kind of how to open this up and you could see, yeah, you could, yeah, you could just rip this out and then I don't want, I want, I don't want to do that because I'm going to be using the box, but um, you could just rip this band out and then all the boxes would be free and just dump them out and, you know, it'd be really quick. So it's an actually pretty, it's a pretty ingenious design for a battle pack. So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. If you want to, you know, help support the channel and stuff, so I'd be able to afford things like this to do unboxing videos of because it's really cool. Um, you can consider becoming a supporter of the channel on either Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member. Uh, if you do that, five bucks a month or more gets you into my Discord server, which is really fun. And uh, it really does help out. It, it does help out my, uh, my channel and allows me to get cool things like this. My Patreon support has been allowing me to make really cool videos lately. And uh, like Roar One French stuff. This video is really cool. I wouldn't have been able to do this without their support. And uh, yeah, I mean, it offsets costs of like ballistic tests and things like that. Like when I collaborate with other people, it helps cover gas and travel and all that stuff. So it's a really good thing. Uh, if you want to support me, but you can't do it financially, I totally understand that it's not a big deal. Um, you can just like this video, you know, share it around. That really helps out. Maybe somebody else thinks this is cool. And, you know, maybe you've never seen a World War II battle pack being opened. I know I really haven't, to tell you the truth. So even on, well, I've seen some original photo or videos, but maybe never actually have never seen this in color like this right here. And it's pretty cool. And this is the first battle pack I've ever actually opened. So we shared that experience together. And yeah, so you can, you can support me that way. And if you don't want to support me, you're in that third category. You're just kind of like, meh. Well, you already have by watching this. So I do appreciate everybody who watches these videos. Let me know what you think. Did you like this? Was it cool? Did you learn something? Did you know what this stuff looked like? And yeah, we'll see you on the next video.